What is up, Dreamers? Figment here, coming to you straight from Imagination, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys an unboxing video of the Unbroken Bonds Elite Trainer Box. Now, before we start, of course, as always, this video is sponsored by Queen City Gaming. If you guys want to go to their website at queencitygaming.com, links, as always, will be down in the description below. But without further ado, we're going to bust right into the box here. I'm going to do this off camera so I don't knock over my camera as usual. Oh, I forgot to do one for the last set for Tag Team. Uh, I might make that up by getting another one at some point here. But of course, this is the real set we care about because there is an amazing card, which I will scream if we pull it. Um, just as <laughs> I'll try to put a warning for a uh, volume warning. But if we pull a Reshiram Charizard, I'm going to scream like a little girl. So, of course, as always, Lee Train Box comes with a nice little... I can't really see it. It's really meh. It's just the card art, basically. It's pretty cool. Get rid of it for now. Of course, it also comes with a guidebook, has all the fun stuff. Basically, gives you a rundown of the set. And here, this is the card. The card that we want to pull. The card that we want to pull is right here. This is Reshazard. Now, of course, there's a boatload of cards in this set. I think this is actually one of the largest sets, including all the secret rares. There's a total of 234 cards in this set. So this is an absolutely massive set. So if you're wanting to look to collect the entire set. You are going to need to buy a ridiculous amount of product. Now, of course, we're just going to get ourselves started here with eight packs. And, of course, it comes in this nice fancy little divider and everything. So, get rid of that. Ignore things being thrown around everywhere. It's, it's a common trend here. If you're new to the channel, of course, if you feel to subscribe and you guys can get more content in the future. Of course, it comes with the usual Tag Team GX markers and Poison Counters code card, which, of course, I'll be giving away as usual. And then, of course, dividers, standards of energy, and sleeves. These sleeves actually don't look too bad. The artwork itself for this set, the Reshram Charizard combination, is actually really good looking. So, of course, you also get dice with this. Interesting, like, little fire logo. I, I see what they're going for with it. It almost resembles the fire crystal. So I think, I think that's the goal with the set logo and everything. But, of course, very cool set. And, of course, the box. We don't care about that, though. Or that. We care about these bad boys right here. All of these beautiful packs. I'm going to organize these because I'm OCD. I'm kidding. I'm not OCD. But, you know, we're just going to do it for the fun, fun part, right? We're going to start off here with the Gardevoir and Sylveon tag team packs. And, uh, yeah. Now, I've seen very few cards out of this set. So, I might have to go through and read a lot of these individually if it looks interesting. So, we're starting off here. we got a Porygon. Darumaka. Caterpie, a Cottony, an Ekans, a Foil Oddish, a Gengar. I didn't have to do the pack trick for this. Oh my gosh. You can tell it's been a while. A Gengar. Got the Metal Energy, then a Fero, a Charger Bug, and a Puka Muku. I'm going to read this Gengar though. It looks pretty cool. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may put six damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon GX and EX. So this is kind of reminiscent of the Crobat back from Phantom Forces and XY set. And basically, it's only for GXs and EXs, but a little more damage if you're looking to put stuff off. Okay, I'm not going to forget the pack trick this time. I think it's like four because of the packs and all that, the way they're set up. So, here's the code. Three or four. I'm going to say four, otherwise I just mess this up. It's a grass energy. Yay, we did it right. Okay, we got grass energy. Graveler. I hit him on top. Chatot. Mistrevious. Glamio. A Growlithe. A Ghastly. A Togepi, a Foil Aaron, and our rare for the pack is going to be a Hollow Mew. Very pretty card. Now, I believe this is actually like the Bench Barrier from uh, Mr. Mime and all that, if you guys remember those cards from Breakthrough and Plasma Freeze. And a little less HP. Actually has a better attack than the Mr. Mime, but of course, with all the different spread decks that we've seen in the meta recently, could be a good card. That's glaring horribly off the light, so I'm just going to move this. There you go. There you go, you guys You guys don't want to not see that meme, right? Okay, Reshiram Charizard is bound to be a Reshiram, right? I'm going to hope for a Reshiram out of this. My late trainer boxes have been iffy at best for the past, I don't know how many, so. Hoping these are a little better. Now, of course, with these code cards, if you guys want to tell us down below in the comments, just tell me if you got it. I want to see what you guys get out of these packs. Okay, we're starting off with Fire Energy. A Welder. Now, this is actually a very good card in this set. Uh, you're it basically gets you extra... Actually, best way to describe this is it's basically Blacksmith, but from your hand, with Fire Energies. So, of course, Blacksmith was a very powerful card when it came out, because of all the different Fire decks in, our, in the meta at the time. So, 
Might see a similar thing here pop up with all these different uh, fire decks. So we got a Haunter, Krokorok, Growlithe, a Ghastly, a Togepi, a Pikachu, a Murkrow, a Foil Diglett, and our rare for the pack is going to be a Hollow Landorus. Two Hollows so far, not doing too bad. Linear Attack does 30 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon, and then Power for Cyclone, 90, 60 damage, and then move an energy from this Pokemon where you're benched. Not a bad card. Combine that with a Choice Band and the uh, Diancy from Forbidden Light, you can actually one-hit KO uh, Zoroark, so for two energies, Counter Energy might be useful there. Could see this play. You can move the energy from it. Not a bad play if you're looking to spice things up a little bit. I'm trying to move these out of the light so you guys can actually see them. Awkward box. So two hollows so far. No GX as of yet, but I have a feeling that might change near end here. Okay, got a water energy. Frogadier, a Rhydon, a Wartortle, a Meowth, a Grubbin, a Geodude, a Litten, a Froakie, a Foil Tentacool, and a rare for the pack is going to be an Alolan Doug Trio. Man, look at that hair, that's fantastic right there. Set our rares to the side. So we're halfway through this box right now. I believe we have yep three, four packs total left, including this one. So honestly, not too bad. Two hits so far, two hollows, I guess, for being halfway through the box. Not too bad. Almost did too many. Almost did too many. I didn't. I didn't. Though. I caught myself. I did a good job. <laughs> yeah, dark energy, a tentacruel, a stealthy hood, a happy knee, a clefairy, a seal. A Gligar, a Mistrevious, a Glamio, a Foil Meowth, and our rare for the pack, and actually ultra rare here, is going to be a Venomoth GX. Now, Venomoth attack has 200 HP, stage 1 Pokemon. It, for a Grass Energy and Double Colorless, it's Shinobi Mastery. This is, this is like a Yu-Gi-Oh card full of text here, holy crap. If you played Kogus Trap from your hand during your, this turn, this attack does 90 more damage. If you played Jamie from your hand during this turn, prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from basic Pokemon during your opponent's next turn. So, basically, in a sense, kind of like the Jolteon from back in Generations, where you could attack Flash Ray, prevent damage from basics. And then also, the extra damage hits for up to 200 damage with the Choice Band. It could hit to 230 with cards like Lieutenant Surge, we could see some decks where, oh, coming from behind, you play a Venomoth down, just a single Grass Energy and a double Colorless, and you can Lieutenant Surge play both Koga and Jamie in order to basically have both of these effects. Now, the GX move is 10 card return GX, does 60 damage. You can shuffle your hand into your deck, then, of course, as the card name implies, draw 10 cards. So, not a bad card, similar to Drampa in terms of the GX move, but also has a decent attack in general due to the actual attack so interesting interesting card i like it of course it's weak to fire though so might not be too good in this current meta but it probably could see play in the future okay we got another code here got a fighting energy a beast springer hitmon top a glyscore a rhyhorn a meltan okay i did not know this was in the set actually <laughs> So Meltan, if you guys don't know, is the new mythical Pokemon. It's actually really weird. That's a common. Okay, that's that's really throwing me off. Most mythical Pokemon are always rares, or at least an uncommon or higher. I'm not used to seeing a mythical as a common, so... If your Pokemon has an active Pokemon that has metal, does 40 more damage. Huh, interesting. Alright, we got a Slowpoke. A Wooper. A Sandile. A Foil Zorora, and our rare for the pack is going to be another Hollow Rare. It's going to be a Malamar. Nautic Rain, not a bad card. What's the Zorora do though? Now I'm curious. Crushing Claw, discard a special energy, and then discharge, does 50 damage per electric. Now you could see something with Zorora. Uh, unfortunately in this format it's probably not going to see top play, but with cards like Electra Power and Magnazone, maybe an Expanded, you could see decks that have centered around electric types. Just doing a lot of damage really quickly with loading on energy. Not bad, not bad. So we got four hits so far, three hollows, one ultra rare. Hoping to see more. See this little piece of plastic just floating around on the tape thing. All right, we got two packs left. Honestly, at this point, four hits is more than I expected. Of course, we'd want our ultra rare, but certainly not going to complain at this point. So we got a water energy, Dodrio, Eradicate, a Weeping Bell, a Spiro, an Iggly. Wait, Jigglypuff. Ooh, I thought that was an Iggly. Oh my gosh, I'm pulling a stupid. I'm doing a stupid, Jared. Don't do that. Crabby. 
Riolu, an Esper, a Foil Sparrow, and a rare for the pack is going to be a Rhyperior. Alright. Our last pack here. Hoping we can get something good out of it. Another GX, hopefully. But, all in all, very large set. Even though there's so many cards in this set, we still got a couple repeat cards, so... Might have to buy more than a couple boxes in order to get every card out of this set. Okay, last code card. Again, let me know in the comments below what you guys get from those codes. I'm really curious to see what you guys are getting. Hopefully you got the figment luck. Uh, well, not not this kind of luck. Better luck than this. Getting more more ultras, hopefully. We got a Psychic. Togetic. A Fairy Charm. Crocorock. Carvana. A Litten. Clefairy. A Seal. A Gligar. A foil Porygon, and our last card of the box is going to be a Darmanitan. Another regular rare, but of course, nothing to complain about here, actually. We have three hollow rares and one ultra rare. Again, this video is sponsored by Queen City Gaming, if you guys want to go check them out at queencitygaming.com. We got all the latest product from a Broken Bond, so if you guys want to go check that out, links as always in the description down below. I look forward to be streaming a little bit more going into the summertime now. I'll have a little more free time on my hands, and I'll probably be streaming a little bit more. Maybe not necessarily Pokemon-related content, but just other content in general. Again, that link as well will be in the description down below at twitch.tv forward slash figment494. And of course, as always, this has been an unboxing video. If you'd like to see more of them, please do like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it very much. We've got a Venomoth GX, we've got a Mew, we've got a Landris, we got all the cool cards. You can get cool cards too. Just go buy them at queencitygaming.com. Boom. Easy. Alright. I don't know where I'm going with this, so I'm just going to end the video here, guys. Stay tuned, and uh, keep on dreaming.